Some demonstrations we do because they really teach a core concept. And some demonstrations we do because they work extremely well and the results that you get are tremendous. And of course, many or most of the demonstrations that we do, or some of them at least, are for fun. And this one probably comes under the just for fun category. It's an acid-base demonstration. Somehow there are many of those fun demonstrations in acid-base chemistry. This one utilizes very, very simple chemicals. I first of all have tap water. Uh, you can probably judge just from the containers that I've assembled around me here that maybe I'm going to get a little bit of froth and foaming and overflowing and so on. But we'll see. I've promised not to overflow my containers here. Let's see whether I can, I can do that. I've just got about 300 milliliters of tap water in there. I'm going to add some sodium bicarbonate. So that's our first clue as to what's happening, right? And I've got 50 grams of sodium bicarbonate. It's not all going to dissolve, but I've got extra. And our second clue as to why this is going to be fun is I'm adding some alkanox, which is simply some solid detergent. And, then, and again, I had pre-weighed those, so I had about 50 grams of each. They're not all going to dissolve, but I'm going to try to mix them here as well as I can. He said we're going to do some acid-base chemistry. Well, if you're going to do some acid-base chemistry, let's put in an indicator because part of what makes it fun, too, are some color changes. The indicator that I'm going to add is methyl orange, and I've got 100 milliliters pre-measured there. And in a lot of demonstrations, it matters whether you're precise or not. In this case, it doesn't, but it doesn't hurt to, uh, you know, we talk about practicing a demonstration. If you keep the amounts relatively constant, uh, that's good. Well, okay, so I've got a, a nice yellow-orange liquid there, and I've got some frothing and foaming already, and actually a lot of people would look at this and they would say, hmm, looks a little bit like orange juice, right? So... We'll call that the orange juice part of this demonstration. So let's see, I said acid base. I put in an indicator because I want some color change. And the other ingredient or uh, chemical that was in there was some sodium bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate is, of course, a base. So if I want to do acid base chemistry, I guess I better add an acid. And the acid I'm going to add is uh, hydrochloric acid, HCl, and I've got three molar. And I want, oh, about 275 or so milliliters of that. Exact amount's not important, but I have promised not to overflow my containers here. Let's see whether I can stick to that promise or not. We've got the orange color here is due to the methyl orange, which is... Uh, red below a pH of 3. It's yellow. I've got a high concentration of it, so I think I'm getting a deep yellow here, that yellow-orange color above a pH of about 4.4. I'm going to add some HCl, and this is the fun part of the acid-base uh, reaction that we're going to do, and I just add that all at once. And we call this our orange juice to the strawberry float. Uh, to me, actually, I think it looks a little bit like rainbow sherbet. If you look at the colors where it is mixed, you get a nice yellow and pink and orange and the pink, uh, red color. Uh, what we're doing, of course, is we have an acid-base reaction between the HCl and the sodium bicarbonate. I've got quite a bit of sodium bicarbonate. I'm getting the CO2 gas evolve. Of course, that's where the frothing and foaming. It's a assisted a little bit in this demonstration by the alkanox as well. Uh, now we've got the acidic color, which is uh, the red color of the methyl orange indicator. And again, it's a, a fun way to do it. You're going to actually see the colors uh, go back to more or less neutral after the CO2 goes away and all the neutralization has occurred. Uh, and again, uh, orange juice to strawberry float. This one comes under the heading of let's have a little bit of fun with our acid-base chemistry. Um, it's a great one to do just because there's so much of it in the volume and everything. And it uh, gives you a lot of observations as well. So thank you.